We Go to Mass. Illustrations by Celeste Gagnon. Written and read by me, Christine Wayskinner. It's Sunday, the day of the Lord. All over the world, bells are ringing from church steeples, calling people to Mass. Young people and old people, rich people and poor people, sad people and happy people, people from around the world. We are all members of God's family. And we as Catholics gather together to praise and thank God at Mass. The Mass is divided into four parts. The first part is called the introductory rites. We begin by joining all our voices together in song to make one beautiful sound. The priest and other ministers process to the front of the church, led by the cross and candles. This reminds us that we are all brothers and sisters who are led by the love and light of Jesus. We make the sign of the cross together. The priest says, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we say, Amen. The priest greets us with a very old greeting, the Lord be with you. And we all answer together, and with your spirit. We say that we are sorry for the times when we have not acted like friends of Jesus. The priest says, Lord have mercy, and we reply, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Then we sing our praise to God just as the angels did when Jesus was born. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Then we move into the second part of the mass. This is called the liturgy of the word. The word liturgy means the work of the people. So this work that we are doing is listening work. It's time to sit down. We listen better when we are sitting and we want to listen because God is going to speak to us. Yes, it is God we hear when the readers proclaim the Holy Scriptures to us. The first reading is usually from the oldest part of the Bible. When we listen to this reading, it is like hearing a story about our great, 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 great grandparents in faith. When the reading is finished, the reader says, The Word of the Lord. We are grateful that God has spoken to us, so we exclaim, Thanks be to God. After the first reading, we sing the psalm. Psalms are very old song prayers from the Bible. The cantor usually sings the verses, and we sing the response. In the second reading, we hear the first followers of Jesus tell us about God's great love. Again, the reader reminds us that God has spoken to us, saying, The word of the Lord. Again, we exclaim, thanks be to God. Now we are about to listen to the greatest story of all, a story about Jesus. It is called the gospel, which means good news. There are four gospels. They were written by St. Matthew, St. Mark, St. Luke, and St. John. Because the gospel stories are so important to us, we stand up to listen. We want to shout, hooray, praise God. 
and we have a very old word that means praise God. So we sing this word while the priest or the deacon carries the book of the Gospels to the place where the Gospel will be proclaimed. That word is Alleluia. There is one time of the year when we don't sing this wonderful, joyful Alleluia. Do you know when that is? During Lent. For those 40 days, our Gospel acclamation changes. Many churches sing, Praise to you, Lord, King of eternal glory. Before he reads the gospel, the priest or the deacon says, The Lord be with you. And again we say, And with your spirit. Then he says, A reading from the holy gospel according to Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. And we reply, Glory to you, O Lord. While we say this, we make a little cross on our forehead so we will understand God's word, on our lips so we will speak God's word, and on our heart so we will love God's word. When the priest or the deacon is finished, he says, The Gospel of the Lord. And we reply, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible was written thousands of years ago. Sometimes the words and the message are hard for us to understand. The priest or the deacon explains the readings to help us understand what God is saying to us today. This is called the homily. After we listen to God's word, we tell the world what we believe. We call this the profession of faith. It is also called the creed. Why don't you say it with me? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In the prayer of the faithful, we bring all our hopes and dreams and worries to God. We pray for the church and the world. We pray for people in need. We pray for our own community. We pray for those who are sick and those we love who have died. The prayer usually ends with, we pray to the Lord, and then we respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Sometimes we are invited to share our own private prayers with God. What would you like to pray for? Now we come to the third part of the Mass. This part is called the Liturgy of the Eucharist. After we've offered our prayers to God, we offer our gifts. Bread and wine are presented to the priest. As we offer the bread and wine, we also offer our hearts and our lives to God. Soon after, we ask God to make this bread and wine holy. We ask God to make us holy too. Then we offer a great prayer of praise and thanksgiving to God. It is called the Eucharistic prayer. The priest begins by saying, or singing, the Lord be with you, we reply, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Then we join with all the angels in heaven and sing a song of praise to God. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. At this moment, the priest asks God the Father to send the Holy Spirit to change our gifts of bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus. The priest retells the story of Jesus' last meal with his friends. We pray with all the saints, for the Pope and the Church. We pray for our family and friends. Jesus, the Son of God, is God the Father's perfect gift to us, so we make our thanksgiving gift back to God the Father. Together, we proclaim the mystery of our faith by saying one of these prayers. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Or, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Or, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Then the priest praises God. When we are finished the prayer, everyone sings a loud and joyful Amen. Then we pray together the prayer that Jesus taught. This is a prayer that we should all know by heart. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. When the prayer is finished, the priest asks God to keep us safe and free from worries until Jesus returns. And we answer, For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We know that we must live in peace if we are to be true friends of Jesus and each other. So the priest says to us, The peace of the Lord be with you always. We reply, And with your spirit. Then we offer a sign of peace to one another by turning to the people near us and saying, Peace be with you. Now the priest does what Jesus did at the Last Supper. He prays over the sacred offerings, which are now the body and blood of Jesus. And then we sing or say, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. The priest holds up the host and proclaims what it has become. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The host looks like bread, but it is now the body of Jesus. The chalice holds what looks like wine, but it is now the precious blood of Jesus. We answer with words that remind us of the Roman soldier who asked Jesus to heal his servant. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. At communion, Catholics come forward to receive Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. The priest holds up the host and says, the body of Christ, we answer, amen. Sometimes the minister offers the chalice of wine and says, The blood of Christ. Again we answer, Amen. We return to our seats, where we sing the communion hymn and give thanks to Jesus for coming into our hearts. When we celebrate our first Eucharist, we share fully in this wonderful sacrament for the first time. And now we come to the fourth and final part of the Mass, the concluding rites. 
Finally, we are sent forth to do God's work in the world. The priest says, the Lord be with you. And we reply for a final time and with your spirit. We make the sign of the cross while the priest gives us the final blessing. May Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We say, Amen. Now we must become the body of Christ in the world. We must be the hands of Jesus reaching out to other. We must be Jesus' heart bringing God's love to the world. The Mass is over. We are dismissed with the words, Go in peace, and we exclaim, Thanks be to God. We sing a joyful song and go forth. We are ready to bring the world the good news we have heard and seen and touched. <laughs>